Hello. Hello, Fernando. Hi, teacher. How are you? Fine. How are you? I'm tired. I'm uh -huh. tired. Yes, but. Okay. Are, what time do you ready. finish your day? Uh, most likely 10, 10 30 p.m. Okay, good. Yeah. Now, do you have dinner before the session or after? I always try to do it be before the session, but uh, because I'm studying at the university also, sometimes uh, when I come, uh, it's too late. So <laughs> I have to, to, to do it uh, after. Okay, good, good. Hello, Robert. Hello, good evening. How are you? Perfectly fine, and you? Good, good, thanks. Okay. Freddy, how you doing, Freddy? Can you hear me, Freddy? Hi, teacher, good evening. Yes, I can hear you. Okay, good. How was your day, Freddy? I have a good day. Good. Thank you. Good. Karen, how was your day? Hi, how are you? Um, my day was okay, but very busy. I just came back from um, a fair, a logistics fair. Uh-huh. So I walk a lot and I talk a lot. <laughs> okay. Um, Fine. That's okay. You live in Lourdes, huh? Yes. Okay, yes. and the fair was in San Salvador? Yes, at Cisco. Okay, and how was the traffic? Uh, it was okay. It Ac was... Acceptable. Uh, believe it or not, uh -huh. I came to my house uh, very, very fast. Okay. There was no traffic at all, uh, not even in the... Uh, uh, in corporation or, or I don't know how to say it. Sure, where yeah, say where you incorporate from. to... Um... Yes, from the Monsignor to Los Charros. Okay. It was very, very easy. Okay, that's good. It's not common, but it's, I'm glad to hear that. Yes, it's not common, but uh, the police was there, so I think that's what's why. Yeah. That, 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 that's the reason. Okay, good, very good. All right, so thank you for being punctual. Uh, let's briefly review yesterday's class. Do you remember the topics? Uh, we were talking about uh, sleeping habits. Sleeping habits, yes, we were talking about that. Good. Yes. And uh, what did we mention uh, as tips, what can we start doing to fall asleep easily? Uh, disconnecting from all the things uh, we have uh, during the day. Okay, yes, that is one. Now, yeah. in terms of eating, um, is there something that we can do to fall asleep faster? Anybody? Uh -huh. Yes, Karen? Uh, yeah, uh, I, I think Maribel said uh, drinking tea, it's a, good, it's a good tip, right? Sure, yes. It relaxes your nervous system. Yes, yes. Okay, good. Eduardo, how are you? Good evening. Oh, fine. Good. Edu Eduardo, do you have any suggestions? Uh, on how we can go to sleep faster? Take a bath. Good, good. That Take one works with some people. A cold shower or a hot shower? Cold shower. A cold shower. It's nice, it's nice. All right, yes, good. Of course. Okay, so yes, yeah, so that was one of the topics we had yesterday. 
um, we were discussing things about what we can do. <laughs> so when we go to bed, um, we fall asleep faster. Uh, we also were discussing clauses. Do you remember the clauses we were mentioning? Mm, long no. As? No, right now. Unless. Oh, okay, yes. As long as, oh, right, unless, right. even if. Even if. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, good. In the good. web. Sure. Web I saw it. If, just in case. Mm -hmm. Okay. Unless, just in case. And exactly. And, and the ones we were studying yesterday, they will help you become more fluent. Because sometimes when we're, when we're using the language, sometimes we stop to think and see like, okay, how can I say this? How can I say this? But if you're very familiar with these um, clauses, then uh, your fluency gets better. Okay. It's All right. Know. Okay, any other questions or comments about what we did yesterday? No. Okay, so let's begin our first activity. Um, do this here. Someone is tired. Okay, can you see the the the, the exercise? Yes. Yeah. Okay, can you please read yeah. the instructions? Who? Match the clauses to make sense. Okay, so sentence. how many clauses do we have there? Six. We have six. six. So every one that we have here has a complement on the right. So um, uh, can you please read the first one? I'm Drivers sorry, I can't see it fall work. asleep. Uh, who said that? Nidia. Nidia. Okay, what mm. about the others? Can you see the document? Yes. Yes, I can see it. Yes. yes. Okay, so maybe it's only you, Nidia. Okay. Maybe. Can, can you see it? Yes, I see it, but it's blurry. Blurry, yes. Okay. All right, well, let, let's hope it gets better. Okay, Karen, can you please read the first one? I will go ahead and share that on uh, the WhatsApp group. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, oh, sure. That's a, that's a good that. idea. Thank you, Robert. Thank you. Okay. Good idea. Okay, the first one, drivers can fall asleep on the highway. Okay. Uh, Freddie, what's number two? Power naps at work are a good idea. Good. Fernando, next one. Some people set two morning alarms. All right. Nidia, number four. Can you see it, Nidia? Yes, but in WhatsApp. Okay. Can you please read it? I was surprisingly alert at work. Good. Uh, let's see. Maribel. Night owls hate to make up early. All right, and the last one, the last Eduardo. One. I drink hot milk before bed only. All right, so then we have compliments. Uh, do you think you can have all the answers in one minute? Yeah. Or, or do you need a little bit more than one minute? More than one minute. No. One minute is too much, huh? Hey. Oh. <laughs> okay, so let's do it all together. Drivers can fall asleep on the highway. What would be the best uh, compliment? I think it's Unless they rest before long trips. Okay, unless they rest before long trips. Long trips. That's possible. That's very possible. Uh, any other suggestions for number one? Okay, number two. Power naps at Letter. work. Uh-huh, yes. Letter D. 
Okay, you mean for number one or number two? For number two, for number okay. two. Okay, can you read the whole thing, Teresa? Power naps at work are a good idea as long as you have your boss okay. Okay, fine. What happens if you don't have the permission of your boss and you take a nap? Mm -hmm. What's going to be the consequence? My you boss. get fired. Yes. Uh, Angry. Yes, fire. Right. Yes. Burn. Yes. Yeah. Maybe they will fire you, or maybe you receive a acción de personal. Maybe. Okay. What about number three? Anybody? Some people set two morning alarms in case they sleep for one. Exactly. Yes. Okay. Uh, has that ever happened to you? I do. Uh huh. I do that. It happens okay. to me. Do you remember that word? What word? Oversleep. 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 So what's what's the past tense of sleep? Slept. 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 So how do you say me quedé dormido? I just overslept. I overslept. Exactly. I overslept. That means that you wake up later than what you're supposed to. Okay, number four. Anybody? I was surprisingly uh, uh, surprisingly uh -huh, surprisingly alert at, surprisingly uh -huh. alert at work considering that I didn't sleep at all last night. Good, good. Number five. Someone that hasn't said anything. Anybody? Night owls to wake up early even if it's a beautiful morning. Exactly. Do you guys remember the meaning of night owl? Yeah. What is a night owl? A night owl is someone that is used to uh, be more active during nights. Exactly. Or to work at their shift at nights or someone that work at night. Very good, very good. Yes, a night owl is a person, like Robert is saying, he's a person that prefers uh, doing things at night. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What is the other word to say, night shift? Night shift. You, you night. Mm -hmm. Graveyard. Graveyard, very good, graveyard. And do you remember this word? Stay up. Stay up. What's the meaning of stay up? Stay up is what we say in Spanish, desvelarse. Mm -hmm. Do you like to stay up? No. 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 Yes. Who's that depends <laughs> of the activity. Me. It depends. Uh -huh. Now, do you stay up for things that are related to work or is it because or, or personal things? For personal things, since during the day I don't have time, to, uh, I don't have enough time to do my personal things. Okay. Because I spend all the time uh, uh, on, the, on the job things, uh, studying things for the job and that type of stuff. All right, all right. What about the others? Uh, somebody said it depends. When you say it depends, what exactly are you saying? Uh, I'm sorry. Media? Media? Okay, uh, I, I like to stay up if I am with my friends celebrating something or uh -huh. doing something that I like. Yeah, uh -huh. but someday, if May 6th, May 6th, in this year, I have to stay up at work. Okay. Because uh, a question of software, and okay. I stayed until 3 in the morning. Oh, my God. 
Yes. That's late. Yes. Okay. And Karen, you were going to say something. Oh, no. Uh, the same. I stay up just for fun. That's what, That's the <laughs> only reason. <laughs> now, what happens if you guys drink coffee? Do you guys have insomnia after? Or do you perfectly go to sleep? Um, I perfectly, I go, perfectly to go to I sleep. I perfectly go to sleep. Yeah. My goodness, lucky you. You know, like <laughs> if I drink coffee at this time, I'm history. I, I will see <laughs> the new day with my eyes wide open. Wow. Well, the only thing that I have tested to stay up until late is to eat apples. To That's eat really, apples? That, that, yes, during the night. Let's say if you eat that, an apple at at the midnight and after that at 3 a.m., you're able to stay up until late and even until the the daylight. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I know that apples are like extremely good for your body, but I didn't know that they had that special component. Yes. Okay, good. And what about the last one? Number six. Number eight. Maribel, for anybody. I drink hot meal before bed only. Number eight. Uh, if I've been having trouble sleeping. Yes. If I've been having trouble sleeping. Does hot milk work for you guys? I don't like milk. Okay. Hot tea is better. Hot tea is better. Okay, I good. I prefer hot tea. <laughs> yeah. yeah, me too. Green I don't tea, like hot black milk. Tea. Okay, and, and which is your best, uh, your favorite tea? Is it green tea, black tea, cinnamon? Black tea is not good for sleep because yeah. it has uh, caffeine. caffeine. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, manzanilla, teacher. How do you say oh. manzanilla? Chamomile. Cam Repeat. Yeah. Chamomile. Chamomile. Uh -huh. Chamomile. Okay, so, uh, you know, like in my house, we usually drink uh, green tea. But one day by accident, my wife bought black tea. So we drank black tea. And the following day, she was like, you know what? I think that black tea interfered with my sleep. And now that you guys say it, so then it's true. Yeah, black tea is for morning. Okay, I didn't know that. I Green know tea that. is during the day for your metabolism. Uh -huh. and, and herbal tea is for the night. You can drink chamomile or you can drink... Um, uh, I don't Infusion. remember the word for yerba Menta. buena. Cinnamon? Menta? No, for Menta. yerba buena, which is the Menta. word. I don't remember uh, how to say yerba buena. Peppermint? Yeah. Peppermint? peppermint? No, it's not peppermint. No, it, it is, no it's peppermint different. is Yeah, peppermint mm. has that fresh uh, um, it's like taste. Yeah, taste. but the people said the best tea you have to drink for a uh, good sleep is herbal tea. Okay, good. good. It, it happens that tea is a, 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 an only plant. And green tea, mm -hmm. black tea, white tea, blue tea, red tea are all the same. But the difference in the fermentation. Okay. So all of them, all of them have caffeine, but in different levels. Oh. And they are tea, because the plant is is named tea. The other things that we do are infusions: uh, chamomile, lavender, orange, um, apple, cinnamon apple are infusions, and they are yeah, good because right. they don't have caffeine, and they are good to drink at night because they they calm you there is a wonderful tea it's uh chamomile and lavender it's relaxing 
Let, let me write put, that down. Good combination. <laughs> good combination. Yes, and if you put a little uh, touch of milk, it's wonderful. Really? Yes. So milk doesn't ruin uh, the tea? No, no, it depends. What do you want to feel? Sometimes I drink it just uh, chamomile and lavender, and sometimes I put a little milk and a little honey uh -huh. to a better flavor. Ah, mm -hmm. good, good, very good. All right, um, any questions about this exercise, about doing the matching? No. Mm -hmm. No? Okay. No. Now, do you guys remember this word? This one here. You see the chat? Huh? Yes, but I don't see any, any new word. New word. Mm -hmm. uh, Oversleep and stay up. Oversleep and stay up. All right. Hold on. Yeah. Sayings. <laughs> yeah, sayings. Sayings. It's like dichos. Yes. I can't see anything. You don't see anything? No. No. Nope. no. Hold on. Uh, sayings. Right. Sayings. Sayings. Uh -huh. Yes, um, so how can you explain the word saying? Somebody said dichos. That's exactly what it is. Now, how can you explain sayings? Are like um, a kind of ways, phrase, I don't know. Okay, yeah, they, they are phrases. You're right. Someone yes, else help Teresa? Oh. Excuse me, excuse me. Some phrases that have a little more. That have a little more what? Teaching. In the message. Okay. Now, the vocabulary you use. It's more like an. What is it? It's more like an educational or cultural phrase. Okay. Cultural <laughs> is very connected with sayings. Now, let me ask you this. When you are using sayings, is the vocabulary that you're using literal or is it only idiomatic? Idiomatic, I think. It's, it's idiomatic. idiomatic, I think so. Okay. Do you see the document? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, what is the first one? Penny wise, dollar foolish. Dollar foolish. What's the next one, Eduardo? Number two. A chip of the old block. Okay, Teresa, what's the next one? The icing on the cake. Aha, uh -huh. Karen, number four. Burn the midnight oil. And the last one, Maribel. A bird in hand is worth two in the bush. Okay, good. So we have five sayings here. We have hundreds and hundreds, uh, but people use this all the time. I'm going to make groups so you guys can discuss the meaning of, of, of okay. these things. Yes, somebody. Yeah, so uh, sayings is like in Spanish, is like uh, dichos. Yes. Because. Dichos, uh, refranes. Can be whatever. <coughs> What is it? A phrase can be uh, uh, any kinds of sentences or, but sayings, dishes is another thing. Yes. It's a phrase that has a meaning. Exactly. And uh, it's a phrase that has the meaning and the vocabulary that you use is not literal. Yeah, you are using some vocabulary, but you're saying something else. Got it? Got it. All right, good. So I'm gonna make the groups. I'm gonna be visiting you. Um, and let's see if you guys can come up with the, with the, with the meaning for each one. See you soon. Okay. See you soon.
Robert. Yes. All right, Eduardo and Robert, are you guys there? Well, I'm over here. Okay. Well, me too. Good night. Good evening, sorry. Yeah. Okay, so well, what's the meaning of the, of the, the idioms that we have there? Well, the first one says, Pennywise, though are foolish. I think that in this one so far, it's telling you that it's better to have a, a little of, of wisdom. I don't know if it's pronunciated appropriately. Yeah, wisdom. Wisdom that being your entire life uh, a fool. Okay. Okay. I think that that can, can be one of the interpretation of this saying, but I'm not pretty All sure right. about it. Now, just keep something in mind that the vocabulary that we use usually is not related with the message itself. Okay. All right, good. Okay, so discuss the other ones. I'll come back to you guys uh, soon. Great, thank you. Pennywise is a, it's a, it's a clown. It's a clown, clown is a yes. Yes. I don't. I just don't know. I don't have any idea. <laughs> really, really don't have any idea. And, and you know, and the thing is that in this case, vocabulary doesn't help you because the, the vocabulary mm -hmm. that you use is not literal. Mm -hmm. It's not literal. How do you say sentido figurado? Uh, how do you figure say that? Huh? Figure sense? Could be. Mm -hmm. Figure mm -hmm. sense. Huh. Let me write it down. I want to confirm that one. Okay. But Penny, why is dollar foolish? Uh -huh. <laughs> Okay. Uh, what about Fernando, Jose? Um, what do you yes. think is the meaning? Pennywise, uh, dollar foolish. Uh, I think that there is something related when you uh, count pennies. Uh, um, and you 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 spend you spend the 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 the, the, the money uh, with no with no sense. Okay, it, it could be. It could be. All right. Yes. Uh, uh huh. Um. Yeah. Another one. I chip off of the old block. Uh. I don't have any idea. <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> All right, don't worry. I'll come back to you guys. Okay. I really don't know. All right. It's weird. Google is a great thing. <laughs> it sure is. Stay <laughs> in Google, they say. Yes. Now, and, and you know, like, now that you mentioned Google, when you're using Google Translate, you guys gotta be really careful. Because if you try to translate the, the, the sayings that we have here, you will get a literal translation and you won't No, 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 I'm using, I'm using meaning, not translation. Oh, right, right, meaning. yes, that's yes. good, that's good, good. Yeah, and um, uh, let's see. For burn the midnight oil meaning, this to burn the midnight oil definition is someone it's burning the midnight oil. They are say they are staying up very late in order to study. Okay. And last one. But that one is like um appearing in hand is worth doing the bash. 
Más balón para la mano que de... Quedó volando, exacto. Right, that's the same one we have in Spanish. Yes, yes. But teacher, in number one and number four, we don't have in Spanish exactly. Uh, we have one for number one, not for number four. And what will be? Which, which one is in the which Spanish? Uh, number one. Yes, which one? Lo barato sale caro. Ah. Oh. It's like many times you want to save a few cents, but at the end, you pay more with dollars. No. Now it makes sense. <laughs> right, right. Teacher and burn the midnight oil, how can we, we don't have a, a, an exactly saying uh, in Spanish, but what it, how era. do you apply that? Uh, well, like, like, uh, Karen was saying, uh, when you say I have to burn the midnight oil, that means that you will, um, you stay will enough. work, you will study until late. You will stay up. Okay. okay. But it is only used for study? No. It is only used no. For no, not necessarily. It can be study. It can be work. Uh, maybe you want to clean your house. And the okay. only time that you have is after 10 p.m. You can use that one too. Oh, okay. Teacher, like for example, I was a study que hasta quemarme las pestañas, algo así. Yes, yes. If 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 you were studying, you you could apply that one. Burn to me like oh okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, burn to me. Do not okay. let the uh, things you can do now. What is it? Uh, um, how is it? Don't let the things you can do now for tomorrow. I don't remember. Okay, okay. So, but but that one is not here, or you're just mentioning it. No, it's for the midnight oil. I let the things for the last moment when okay. I can do it before. Okay. okay, if that is your philosophy, then you can apply number four and say, look, I don't want to leave things for tomorrow, so I'm going to burn the midnight oil today or tonight. Oh, okay. Right. Okay, I'll come back to you guys. Let me go see your friends. Okay. okay. I, I got to go check to see what they're doing. Okay. Ideas. Ideas. <laughs> now, do you have the meanings for... For the for the sayings, the number yes. six. We were we were discuss we were discussing about about number three, four, and five. And five. Okay. Now number three can be positive and it can also be negative. Mm -hmm. Is the other is is one thing that have complete sense uh, you mean number three number three no, la cereza del pastel, no? right so w when you say that in spanish w when do you apply it when uh, do you apply when, that saying when you are having a good day and then something just amazing happened to you, you good. say it was the icing on the cake, but could be in, in the different way. Yeah, the opposite, the, the opposite. right, yes. right, right. So how would you explain the negative way, Teresa? When everything is going wrong and then... Uh, something example, worse. Yes, something worse happening to you. Good, 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 good. All right, good. Okay. The icing on the cake. Mr. Vides. How to use uh, the same, the icing on the cake? Okay. What, really um, what about the others? Lorena, Marcelo, and Maribel, any ideas about icing on the cake? 
I don't have an idea. I don't know the, no. When you are doing something and you you finish a, a when sometimes when doing something special. Oh. Okay. For example, when you are play a, a, a game soccer, and in the minute ninety, ninety. Yeah, ninety. You you score. You do the, the uh huh. You score the to to go to gain to win the game. Okay, it could be, could be. If. All right, so you guys are discussing number three right now. Yeah. Yes. Okay, let's return to the main session and we will compare all your um, all your opinions. Okay. All right, can you guys hear me? Yes. Yes. All right, volunteer yes. to explain the first one. Uh, Pennywise Dollar Foolish is like uh, when you think that you are making a good deal uh, buying something cheap, but at the end it gets, it gets um, expensive. Expensive, yes. Very good. That was a very clear definition. Pennywise Dollar Foolish is when you make the decision to buy something because you think it's a good deal, so you decide to pay less. But at the end, paying less will, uh, will cost you more because maybe you saved a few dollars for paying for something that was bad quality. Mm -hmm. Got it? The, the, yes. The, What's the expression the, in El Salvador the, for that one? The cheap. Lo, lo barato sale caro. Sale, uh -huh. Exactly. Lo barato <laughs> sale caro. Right. So once again, you think that you are smart by saving a few cents, but really what you're doing is you're making yourself look bad because after you're going to pay more. <laughs> Okay. okay. Are we okay with the first one? Okay. Yes. I just want to make a, a comment. Sure, Nidia. About Pennywise. I don't know if, it, if you like to read or you are you know, about Stephen King. Uh -huh. Or have you seen it? And the bad guy is called Pennywise. And now I understand because Pennywise is a, a clown. Right. And uh, if you have fun with him, you pay with your life. So it's a, a horrible sample. Okay. Pennywise and was, you know, and now that you mentioned that, I have seen Pennywise the clown only in memes. Oh, really? Yeah, only in memes. And I always ask myself, who's this guy Pennywise? You know, is it a cartoon? <laughs> is, it a, is it in a movie? But now yes. that you explain, now I understand why they... <laughs> Pennywise is. Yes, yes. He's oh. a very bad guy. Right. Clown. Oh. Very yeah. bad clown. Okay, yeah. good to know. Good to know. All right, number two. Anybody wants to explain that one? A part of you. Okay, and what does that mean? Yes, you're talking about a part of yourself, but what does that mean exactly? The life, imagine. The real imagine. Okay. What's a block? A piece of wood. A piece of. In this case, they use block as a piece of concrete. Ah, really? Okay. Now, what is a chip? Part of. It's a chip. Like a little piece of the block. Exactly. So you have a block and let's say you take one little portion of that block. When you compare the block with the little part, 
the components are exactly the same. The only difference is the size, mm -hmm. right? So you use this expression when you are or when you look exactly like your mom or your dad. Ah, de tal palo tal astilla. Right. So, what, so, so once again, you compare the block with a little piece of it, the only difference is the size because the components are exactly the same. Okay, but, but yeah, but about this yeah. thing, I have usually heard uh, the next saying that it's like father, like son. Uh, but right, right, right. Now, usually number two is used when you look the same. Okay. You said, oh my goodness, look at your daughter. She's exactly like you. And sometimes not only the way you look, but also the way you talk, the way you walk, the things you so do. So this is this is only used for appearance or, or not necessarily. Things? It, it can be about your personality too, not just the okay. way you look. Okay. Good. What about number three? Teresa, Teresa was giving us a good explanation. Can you please tell us? <laughs> The icing on the cake is like when you are having a very good day and then something amazing happened to you, that's the icing on the cake. Or? Or can be in the opposite way, when you are having a bad day and then something worse happened to you, exactly. it's the icing on the cake. Right, right. Uh, is it clear? Yes. Yes. One day I was coming from Santana, it was like 8 p.m. I was driving and I had a flat tire. So I began to change it and it was really dark. And guess what? It began raining. Yeah. Rain. The icing of the cake. That's the icing on the cake. So the rain was the icing on the cake. The icing on the cake. Yeah. Right, okay, what about number four? Anybody? It's your last chance to do something. Okay, could be. There could be some relation. So no, I just do it. Huh? Someone else? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, hold on. Okay, you guys hear me? Okay. Okay, because there was a lot of background noise. So, uh, can someone explain number four? Burn the midnight oil. The Anybody? last opportunity. The last opportunity. Okay, it could be, so if it's your last opportunity, what do you do? Well, in this case, I think that it could be just like your, your last resort. Since you have saved that oil for midnight, but you're burning it right now. Okay, someone else? If, we were if... talking about them, uh, burn the midnight oil is like, uh you're going to work or study very, very late at night. Yes, that's exactly what it is. When you say you're gonna burn the midnight oil, it's because you have things to do and you will do it until late. Maybe after 10 or 11 p.m., uh, you're gonna burn the midnight oil. So that's what it is. It's like when we say hasta ver adiós. Uh, it could be. If you're talking about a, a time, you can say that. So burn the midnight oil, it's exactly the same as what we said earlier. Stay up. Do you yeah. see it? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So how do you say stay up in Spanish? 
Desvelarse. Desvelarse. So number four is exactly the same. The only thing is that you're using an expression to say it. Okay. So like, uh, I think it was Robert or Jose saying, it's your last chance. So imagine that today is your last chance to finish a, a report. You will have to burn the midnight oil. You have no options. Okay. Uh-huh. And the last one. Anybody. We have that one in Spanish. Yeah. Ready? Mr. Bides. Yeah. It's like when you have uh, something sure, uh, uh, you secure one thing uh, instead of having one or uh, two or, or two or more um, possibles. Possibles, yes. Very good, very good. So yes, that's exactly uh, the meaning of it. Uh, it's ensure it's ensure some, something. Exactly. Even exactly. you have one hundred percent of secure of something, and you you choose that opportunity or that that scenario uh, instead of others. Right. So um, let's say they offered you a job, and they say, "Look, we will give you twenty dollars." But someone has promised you another one for $45. But the one that they're giving you now pays less. So you say, well, a burying hen is worth two in the bush. So I'm going to take the one that is going to give me only 20 because they offer about $45. Maybe it will never come. Okay. All right. Any questions about this? No. 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 All right. Do you use idioms in Spanish? You can say sayings and you can also say idioms. Which is the different teacher? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Yeah. You can say sayings. That's redundant. You can use sayings okay. and you can say idioms. They're exactly the same. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are uses are uses uses uh, is the the idiom has common uses between the American? Yes, the same way we use idioms in Spanish, the same frequency that people use them in English too. Okay. okay. All right. All right, any questions before we go to our last activity about this one here? No? All right. So let me ask you, how do you practice your pronunciation? What do you do to practice pronunciation? I sing. Okay, you sing, very good. Yes. What else? I try to read uh, out loud voice. Very good. Reading out loud. That's very good, too. I repeat the dialogues uh, when I watch the movies. Very good. Very good. What else? Record our, our, our voice. Very good. That is very effective. Record your voice while you're speaking, while you are reading. And when you finish recording, you have to check yourself. They said, okay, let me see how I sound. Oh, okay, so I need to speak a little bit louder. I need to speak a little bit faster. Maybe I need to articulate more. So it, recording your own voice is really good. It's really, really good. Any other suggestions of how to practice your pronunciation? I try to pray in English. <laughs> good. Very good. Nice. Singing right. louder. What is it? Singing louder. Singing. Sure. Sure. Singing what, louder. 
Do you ever talk to yourself? Yes. Sure. You know, people oh, yes. will think you're crazy, but who cares? So you talk to yourself. Okay, so let me um, show you this. And here we go. You see the document? Oh, not yet. No. Not no. yet. All right. <clears throat> hmm. Hold on. Do you see it now? Yes. Yes. Okay, what's the name on top? Tongue Twisters. Tongue Twisters. Yeah. Now, if you're using Tongue Twisters in Spanish, you know, you usually do it for fun. If you're using Tongue Twisters in English, it's because you want to improve your pronunciation, and at the same time, they can be fun. Oh. So look at the first one. She sells seashells by the seashore. What sound am I practicing there? Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, mm -hmm. So listen carefully. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. Okay, she sells seashells by the seashore. S H. S H is one. What else? Is it only L. S H? L. S. S. Uh -huh. He sells seashell by the seashore. Uh huh. So you're practicing S H and you're also practicing S. So I need a volunteer to say number one. Volunteer. Sugar baby buggy bumpers. Number one. Number one. Oh. He sells. She sells seashells by the seashore. Okay, now what is your challenge when you're saying tongue twisters? What is your challenge? Right. And try to go as fast as possible. Okay, volunteer for number one. Brother baby Becky bumpers. Okay, but number one, number one. She sells seashells by the seashore. Okay. Someone else? She sells seashells by the seashore. 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 She sells Okay, so she sells seashells by the seashore. Uh -huh. What about she number two? She sells by the seashore. Rubber baby, baby bumper. Rubber baby, baby bumpers. Rubber baby, baby bumpers. Rubber baby, baby bumpers. What is the sound we're practicing in number two? <laughs> B. Rubber baby baby bumpers. Rubber baby mm -hmm. bumper. Uh huh. Which B? Label. Label. Be label. 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 Uh huh. So you say rubber baby buggy bumper. Rubber baby baby. Bumper. baby. Baby, baggy baby, bumpers. Rubber baby baggy bumpers. Uh -huh. Rubber baby baggy bumpers. Rubber baby baggy bumpers. Rubber baby baggy bumpers. Uh -huh. Now, what is rubber? What's the meaning of rubber? Rubber made. It's a material. It's material, mm. yes. Baby, you know, baby. What mm. is baggy? I don't know. Anybody knows Baggy? Yes, um, no. So imagine that my pants are 36, but I use 42, so my pants are baggy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, and the last one. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? <laughs> what? <laughs> How much wood would a woodchuck the trick of this one is to say it singing. One by one. On the it has to okay. Be Who wants to volunteer and, and try to say it? It has to be on the following way. How much wood would a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? Oh my God. Wow. Yeah, but wow. you will have to say it singing. Oh. <laughs> the trick, the trick All right. <laughs> All right, anybody else? Anybody else wants to volunteer before we go? How much? How much? Now, what, what is the sound that we're practicing here? What is the sound that we're practicing? Uh -huh. What else? Right, now with the first one, we were practicing with number three, we're practicing. So you're practicing W and you're also practicing CH. Check. Yep. So oh. how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck would chuck wood? Okay. So take a picture of this and that's going to be your homework for tomorrow. Practice the tongue twister. Okay. Okay. Right. My God. <laughs> How much? How much more would right. we should check if I would check? Exactly. All right. I feel like a train. Choo 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 choo. So, <laughs> yeah, ladies exactly. and gentlemen, <laughs> thank you again. Have a good night. Get some sleep, and see you tomorrow, same place, same time. Good night. Bye. Bye. Okay, thank you. Okay. Goodbye. Have good a night. good night. Good night. Good night. Have a good night. Bye. 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 How much wood would a shoo shoo shoo? <laughs>